Shalom, Kal Halal Yamla Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Racha HaKodash, double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well, who I learned the truth from, and uh, salutations and blessings. All right, to you elect, starting with the 144,000. Um, so, this lesson, I'm going to play this video from uh, the show Vikings. Right, and I'm uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of brothers watch the show. You know, pretty much all the brothers in our camp. Uh, you know, they watch the show. If you enjoy history, period pieces, uh, this is a dramatization, but it is loosely based upon you know the Vikings, the Northmen, right, sailing west to England, and uh, the uh, you know the fight between you know the English. And uh, the Northmen, you know, and even uh, the Franks, you know, they show you later on how they went to, to, to Francia, to, to Paris, and try to conquer it. But this show, I enjoyed this show because of the character Ragnar in the show. And he plays a Jake, man. He plays a, you know, if you watch this show, you you know what I mean. He plays a, he plays a fucking Jake, man. <laughs> He plays a fucking Jake to the T. Okay. I don't know what demon he summoned up or if he might be a Jake or whatever, but this dude, he was he was the he was the whole show pretty much. You know? I'm talking about this guy Ragnar, you know, who played Ragnar. But anyway, I'm gonna play this clip. I forget which uh season this is in. But um Yeah, it doesn't show but this is Ragnar, the, it says Vikings, Ragnar, Lodbrok, and Bjorn talk about power. You know, and this lesson is uh, going to deal with, uh, you know, power. <laughs> you know, you got that show, Power, right? That was a good show too, right? But that's, that's you know, J Jake is not meant for power in, in, in this place, therefore it's corrupt. But... When you deal with power, man, power is a dangerous thing. It can be a dangerous thing, right? Especially for these bodies that we're in, these vessels, you know, these lowly uh, habitations, right? For our spirits. Um, we're, we're bound and we're subject to greed and lust and, 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 and filling our belly, right? That's why it's so important in the truth to deny yourself. As the Howard I said, to deny yourself, man. Right? Deny and 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 uh pretty much reject the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right? So I'm gonna play this clip and then you know get into some scripts. When he has finally breaks, we'll go back to Wessex and claim the land the King Eckberg promised us. You know that was always my dream. I feel my blood moving. I want to fight. I want to raid. Why do you want to fight? What are you fighting for? That. So, I mean, he said a few good points, man. He pretty much said it, it attracts the worst 
and corrupts the best, right? Which is what I said in the beginning of the video about, you know, like, hey, man, even this truth, you see, you see, you see brothers and not brothers, guys that fell out um, and uh, brothers in this truth who are tempted and, 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 and kind of have a power trip and, 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 you know, where they want a promotion, so to speak, and they think that, you know, you know, there's a welcome package and, uh, you know, a bonus, or <laughs> uh, you know, with the higher positions. But all jokes aside, you guys, you had guys that, that, that really power trip, man, and, and, and abuse the power in the, in the Lord and, and in the camp, whether it was a first in command, the second in command, you know, and so forth and so on. But uh, the other point Ragnar said was, he said, I, I didn't ask for power. I didn't want it. And that's and that's true. A lot of brothers, man. So, hey, man. Like a lot of brothers, they don't look for positions of power, and 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 pretty much that's precisely why the Lord put you in power, because you're not really, you know, it's not that you don't care about it, but you don't you don't care for it. You don't you don't you don't uh, you never you never seek, you know, a, a high position or to be, to be admired or or whatever the case is, man. Now those things are good to the flesh. <laughs> to be admired and 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 people you know you know and that's why how I was saying the the Pharisees and Sadducees they 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 love they love the marketplaces right they love to be called of men rabbi master <laughs> you know oh you're so wise oh you I, I love that sermon oh you you said this this was amazing you know and and I'll say this man I I personally don't like too much flattery when 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 certain brothers say you know Certain brothers, they 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 can be excessive with the flattery, and I'll cut a brother off. I'll be like, brother, it's, it's of the Most High, it's of the Lord. You know, a brother can compliment you on something, and and we, we are vessels that the Lord uses. So, you know, the men will get honor anyway, regardless. You know, especially those that endure until the end, and that's what that's what really counts, right? Endure until till the end. But uh, in the show, Ragnar said, power is only given to those who are prepared, for those who are prepared to, to lower themselves, to pick it up. You know, and that precisely goes into my first scripture, Proverbs, I'll start at uh, 22, I'll start at 1. It says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord Yahweh is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And how are we how is how's the how is the wise hiding himself? Right? Well, first and foremost, we're denying ourselves of this world. We're not associating ourselves with this world. Alright, we're trying hey, it, and it says in the um Psalms was it eighty three, they consult against the hidden ones. You know, it goes multi-folds about we're actually, you know, uh, 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 scratched out of society. We're not known as the Israelites on one fold. But um, as Paul said in the book of, um, what is that, 1 Corinthians 5, about as open and yet hid, so, something to that effect, right? So, hey, we're out and open on the highways, right, in public prophesying uh, this word. But we're pretty much hid, you know. It, it's a, it's a, it's a hidden parable. It's a mystery, you know. So when um, when it says a, a, a prudent man hideth, he see, for, he foreseeth the evil. Yeah, hey, I watched that movie Civil War today. I just went to the movies and watched it. And you had a couple that went in there, and about an hour in, they just walked out. <laughs> they walked out, man. There's a lot of death. So we're foreseeing the evil, man. We're seeing that. And, and we're praying to the Lord to cover our sins and we're doing the, uh, the, the best that we can, you know, of, 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 of using the goods of the Lord. The Lord left these treasures to be used, man. Right. It says uh, 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 a man, a man took a long journey. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and left his, his, his goods to his servants, roughly paraphrasing. Right. Verse four. Um, by humility. And the fear of the Lord are riches mm -hmm. and honor mm -hmm. and life, right? Now check this out. Proverbs 15, 33. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is instruction, is the instruction of wisdom. 
and before honor is humility right what 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 in that show Ragnar said you got to you got to stoop low you got to bet you you got to go low right humility is where you get the word humiliation from right to be humiliated one second right to be to be to be humiliated right part of our humiliation and our, and our foolishness of preaching right part of our humiliation is being on the highways man you know carnally when you look at it it looks foolish it looks stupid right people honk they talk shit they watch the videos they, they share it you know they, uh, family members friends associates they talk shit you know look at these guys oh my god what are they wearing oh my goodness what are, why are they screaming what are they talking about right because the lord if he wanted to of course he could just wake you up just like that without having uh, you to be persuaded and, and us on the highways and byways but this is part of our humiliation as well <laughs> just like hey just like e you got your humiliation rights on the left hand side hey we got to go through our humili our humiliation because we went off we sinned against the lord we made the lord look bad so who the fuck are we of course we got to go through the mud you know like when you watch that show last kingdom or even uh, game of thrones you have to do that walk of shame man shame right shame and people throwing cabbage and lettuce and carrots <laughs> onion peels you know talking about shame and and and, and whore and, and and all these words and in that in that show last kingdom they have to crawl through the mud man you know and get to the end and plead to the king for for for, for forgiveness <laughs> so that's the same thing we're doing right now man to be found a chaste pure virgin you know Salaki, Salaki. Let me get this. This is uh, Philippians 2 and uh, 4. It says, Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Right? And at each verse I'll read in the NLT as well. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Verse 5, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach Yahushai who being in the form of the most high thought it not robbery to be equal with the most high right but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men right so this is his humiliation he went through he had to experience all these things man all right let's look up some of these words i believe i was looking up here uh, no, no, it's not. no, that's not it either. I was looking up certain words. I don't think it's in this verse. It's in the next verse, verse 8. And being found, right, in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of a cross, right? Look at uh, verse 7 in the NLT. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a humble being. It's like it. As, and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form. And for you Christians, what color was he? Because it just said he was born in human form. Oh, Jesus wasn't any color. He wasn't, he wasn't, he was just a, a phantom. No, man, it's clearly just said. <laughs> he came in human form. He, verse 8, he humbled himself in obedience to the Most High and died a criminal's death on a cross. Now, when we look up yeah, fashion, schema, the habitus as comprising everything in a person, which strikes the senses, man. So he, he had to feel that, the anger, the frustration, the rage, the depression, the worry, the doubt. Of course he doubted. He had his he had he had a spiritual warfare, right? Um, the figure bearing discourse, actions, manner of life. Um, he humbled. The word humble, tap, tapino. Tapino, which means to make low, bring low, to level, to, to raise it, right? Raise it, raise it, to level, to reduce to a plane, metaphor, to bring into a humble condition, reduce to meaner circumstances, to assign a lower rank or place to. Right? Doesn't the book of Psalms say he was made a little lower than the angels? Right? To be ranked below others who are honored or rewarded. Right? Them Pharisees, Sadducees, they were honored and rewarded in, in their time. And he was brought lower than them. 
He was brought lower than a criminal, Bar uh, Bar Barabbas. <laughs> right? We just read in verse 8, he died the death of a criminal. They said, free him, free Barabbas, man, and crucify Yahushai. Right? You got Israelites like that. And their seed is cursed unto this day. And they're going to, hey, man, you got Jakes that are going to really feel the fire, the blue flame of, the, of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Everyone's going to feel the red flame, but you got people that are going to feel that blue flame and if you know if you don't know what i mean right that blue flame when you see that blue flame that's the hottest point that's the hottest temperature of the of the flame is that blue all right it's gonna bun you it's gonna burn you up man all right it says uh to humble or base my uh myself by humble living right hey the apostles say man we're plain men we're we're, we're in the mindset of a stoic pretty much um, Apostle Gabar goes into it that we have the 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 the, the bare necessities, pretty much the basic things of life. That's it. You know, we're simple men. We lead simple lives, right? To lower the press of one's soul, bring down one's pride. To have a modest opinion of oneself, to behave in an unsuming manner, devoid of all haughtiness. So this is what Yahweh Shai did. He came in that form. Right? Verse 9, Wherefore the Most High also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name because he went through that humility he was given the honor. Right? Verse 10, That, that at the name of Yahweh every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Mashiach is Lord to the glory of the power Right to the glory of the Most High, the Father. Okay. Anyway, I hope you're edified with that. Kahalalim le Yahwa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukaha Kadash. Shalom, Kwame Sharala. Shalom to the elect.